citizens of St. Bridget's to Batman's grappling hook. We're going to be talking about this little baby and whether or not it would work in the real world. I... <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that's better. All right, so let's have a talk about Batman's grappling hook and whether or not it would work in the real world. Okay. There's a little video here for you to watch about, uh, it's just from Batman, uh, Batman Forever from years ago, um, where Batman catches um, two people while he's falling down. Um, he's falling for about 19 seconds in the clip, catches two people with his bat rope, which is a metal wire that pulls tight and stops them pretty quickly. So having a look at that, think about whether you think he should have been able to catch them. And if he did, what would happen to them? Okay, what would happen to their bodies if they stopped like that? Um, try and work out what you think. So the first thing we look at here is um, how fast we can fall. So terminal velocity is what we call uh, how fast the body can fall. And it has to do with the air slowing you down um, as you fall as well. So on, um, on planet Earth with taking um, the size and, and shape of objects out of it, we fall at about 9.8 metres per second. But because a person is a different shape and the air resistance goes up, um, we have to look at how fast the person will actually fall. Um, so belly to earth, like this guy, um, terminal velocity is around 195 kilometres an hour or 54.17 metres per second. Um, it takes you around 15 seconds when you're falling to reach that speed. So if you are falling towards the... Uh, towards the ground, you'd cover 500 metres in that time in 15 seconds. So for starters, the thing you're falling off would have to be whoop, quite big. You can move faster by pointing yourself uh, down towards the ground like that and res um, trying to limit the air resistance on your body. But um, And Batman does that to catch people, um, but so do the people that he's trying to catch. They're, um, they have that problem as well, okay? So they're going like that too. Terminal velocity increases to around 300 kilometres an hour or 90 metres per second um, when you're doing that, okay? So, yeah, so this is just a picture of some people uh, falling together. So, for starters, the thing you've fallen off has to be very tall to give you time uh, to catch the person and to stop reaching terminal velocity and all that. In the clip, they fall for 19 seconds, which means that they should be moving at terminal velocity. They'll have gone more than 500 metres. It's not that tall, um, the tower that they're falling from, but that's just a bit of creative licence with the movie. Okay. Um, to stop yourself, when we do jump, if you're using a cord or something like that, you would have to have an elastic um, cord. Okay, that's why they don't attach these guys doing bungee jumping to wires. They attach them to these flexible elastic cords that slow them down gradually, okay? If you were to be attached to a metal item or something that doesn't give you very much um, sort of give, then you would slow down fast. And if that happens, lots of bad consequences would happen, okay? So for Batman and Spider-Man to be able to catch someone, they'd need to allow uh, for the time um, of the falling and to use elastic lines and they don't. Um, Spider-Man's webs are a bit elastic, but as you can see in this picture, this is um, when Gwen Stacy died in the comics. The Green Goblin threw her off the bridge in New York um, and he catches her um, and you'll see that it pulls tight really fast and you see this little snap noise here. Okay, so he thinks he's a bit of a hero at that point and then he realises that she is actually dead and he thinks, well, why... Um, why is she dead? I caught her. But and, um, the Green Goblin says at this point, um, anything falling from that height would kill someone before they struck the ground. Well, that's not true because people jump out of planes all the time. But what it was was that Spider-Man's webs um, caught her, stopped her too fast, and she died. Okay, not nice Spider-Man. Uh, okay, so Spider-Man is the thing that killed Gwen Stacy in the comics. Um, he was trying to save her, but still. Okay, there's a video about that as well. You can have a look at that. Um, that gives you a bit more information. Okay, so that's good. Thank you, guys. Um, that is one example of how you can look at a superpower and its realistic or not realistic applications. Thank you.